The world is falling apart. Welcome to Tricky Mickey. Please support this channel by subscribing. Spread the word Tricky Mickey is here. Share and like. At the end of the video, please leave a comment at the bottom. Thank you. In this episode of Tricky Mickey, we're going to explore The world is falling apart. Economic collapse is coming. What can you do to help yourself and your family to prepare for the coming economic collapse? that's going to affect the entire world. Global economics collapse is coming. Global economic collapse is coming. The economic collapse is global because the entire world's economy is interrelated due to many international treaties and the fact that many companies are multinationals, their subsidiary, subsidiary companies are in other countries. So therefore, we need to understand that we're in this together and the economic collapse is coming for the entire world. The global economy explain. The global economy, economic globalization, global economy, evident after collapse of communism, expanding trade, foreign investment, privatization of industry, free trade, free of state imposed restriction, General Agreement on Tariffs and Tariffs, GATT, formed in 1947 as vehicle to promote free trade. In 1994, 123 GATT members created the World Trade Organization, WTO, dramatic growth in world trade from 1966 to 1990. This is what the global economy is. Global corporations, symbols of the new economy. Multinational businesses operate apart from laws and restriction of any one nation. Seek cheaper labor and resources, prefer lax environmental laws, pay less in taxes in the de developed world than formerly. What is an economic crisis? Economic crisis, a situation in which the economy of a country or the world experiences a sudden downturn brought on by a financial crisis. An economy falling, an economic crisis will most likely experience a falling GDP, a drying up of liquidity, rising, falling prices due to inflation, deflation, unemployment. This is what an economic crisis is. Recession into depression. A time bomb is ticking. A time bomb is ticking. The upcoming global economic collapse is going to affect, to affect this world. It's going to make 2008 look like a walk in the park. This is going to hurt everybody, except of course the very rich. They know it because they're the ones who are preparing for it, because they're causing it. Economic depression is good for them because it gives them the opportunity to buy cheaply all the companies that collapse. The world in debt the world in debt. What the intelligent community fears, $710 trillion in global derivative markets, $72.6 trillion global GDP. This imbalance, the depression will go global once the derivative market collapses. This is what has happened. Many bubbles are coming due and there's no way to play off the pyramid game. Sell, sell, sell. Panic on stock markets of the world. Sell, sell, sell. All the markets of the world are going to go into a panic mode once people begin to sell in order to protect what little investment they have left. Pensions are going to go by the wayside. Governments will not be able to borrow from banks, nor will the central banks be able to print money out of fiat, out of nothing, in order to support the economy like the way they've been doing for ages. Panic on Main Street. Panic on Main Street. Panic in the streets. In every economic downturn, Main Street, where most people, working class and middle class people live, this affects them more because they have the, le the least amount of economics, savings, and diversification of economics. So naturally, the working class and the middle class are going to be broken because the rich and powerful do not want a middle class. Layoff in companies close down begins. 
in every economic depression that you can remember or read about in the history book. Companies closed the, 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 their doors and lay off people because they can't afford to pay them. And many companies just do not produce any more of their products. This is the way that they are going to begin to restructure their economics and their company. Workers are going to pay the, the first price. Let the Hunger Games begin. Let the Hunger Games begin. You're looking at a picture of the Great Depression of the United States where more than 25% of the people were unemployed and had no visible means of support nor any other forms of diversification of their economics. They lost their homes, they lost their cars, they lost everything and they had to be put out to charity. Unemployed will take any job. Yes, when all the benefits of our welf welfare state created over generation begins to crumble because the government will not be able to support it, how will you find work? You'll, you'll take whatever work is available. You'll be competing with everybody. Why can't you give my dad a job? Because companies have closed in order to preserve what little liquidity they have. And by unemploying people, you create a glut of unemployed people who will take any job and compete with anybody for what little is there. The world's debt is due. The world's debt is due. Bankers warn world drowning in unpayable debt. What do you do when you owe so much debt that you can't pay it off? This is what all the governments of the world owe to the banks. The dollar's collapse. The dollar's colla collapse is coming. The problem with the American dollar is, once it was taken off the gold standard in the early 1970s by President Nixon, this currency floats from no visible means of support. There are no special metals, no gold, no silver, no platinum to support the value of the dollar to back it up. It's just printed, printed out of thin air with nothing to support it. So therefore, the value of the dollar goes down in purchasing power. Money grows out of thin air. Money grows out of thin air. Debt from thin air. Permanent debt expansion. Economic meltdown. When you keep on printing money out of thin air and with nothing to support it, it's going to create a meltdown. It's a pyramid scheme. Federal Reserve printing so much money you'll soon use it for wiping your behind. Money has no value. It's an illusion. It does not exist in reality. Fiat money is the root of all evil. Money is an illusion. Money grows on trees. It is called paper. You're holding in your hands money that is not backed up by any visible means of support or value. It's all an illusion. How fiat money works is black magic on the entire world. All the central banks of the world, except for a handful, are owned by private shareholders. They're not answerable to the national government nor to the rule of law. Their whole purpose is to print money and call it legal tender. But money, it isn't. It's just a currency, a promissory note. And it's circulated and people accept it out of thin air with the, the, the supposition Oh, that yes, it has purchasing power because I can buy things. But this is an illusion. How can you buy something that has value when the money that you have is nothing but a piece of paper with stamp a legal tender? It has no money. The Federal Reserve print, printing press continues to print money because this is the way that they create inflation, deflation, Unemployment is all rigged in order to create economic crisis and therefore chaos. And out of chaos, a new order. When people are panicking, when people are not in on the end game, they will sell all of their reserves. Now you see it, now you don't. All of this false money is going to go down a big black hole, never to be seen again. And so the rich and powerful, the globalists, are just going to print out a new currency and call it 
Oh, this is money, the new money. It's better than the one you have before. No more cards to play. No more cards to play. Global economic collapse. U.S. defaults. No bank services. No jobs all over the world. This is what's coming because all the banks of the world have printed too much money. There's nothing to back it up. There's nothing in the banks to support it. It's just a vicious circle. It goes round and round with nothing of substance. A financial tide wave is coming. The tidal wave is coming. When the collapse happens, it will happen in when all the bubbles start exploding. Part of it is the home market. Foreclosures will, will occur. This will have a ripple effect throughout the economy. Wall Street will panic. Stocks will will fall because people will sell in order to protect what little they have. The housing bubble is going to explode. The housing bubble is going to explode. All the real estate in the United States is overly inflated. The assumption behind a house is if you buy it at a certain price, you hope it will continue to increase in order that you may sell it at some future time for something better. The global bond market bubble. The global bond market bubble. Experts are warning that the $76 trillion global bond bubble is about to explode. The bond market is all of us who have bought federal bonds, state bonds, local bonds. When these bonds are due and the government cannot pay it because they don't have the money, that bubble is exploding. The financial crisis of 2008 explained and what is coming is worse. The financial crisis of 2008 is an ongoing global financial crisis that is the worst the world has ever seen since 1933 and the Great Depression. The definition of a financial crisis, a situation in which the value of financial institution or assets drops rapidly. A financial crisis is often associated with a panic or a run on the banks in which investors sell off assets or withdraw money from savings accounts with the expectation that the value of those assets will drop if they remain at the financial institution. This is a worldwide panic that's going to occur because the money has no value. Companies are going to close. People are going to be unemployed. So there's, it's going to become a vicious cycle with no end in sight. And with all of this will lead to the greatest global depression of all time. China is a house of car. China is a house of cards. In 2015, the stock market in China practically collapsed. The Bank of China quickly moved in to pump more false money. This destroyed many people's pe pensions because the government of China lied to its own people. 500 billion reserves collapsed in 2015. What this mean was that the value of the Chinese stock market fell by $500 billion. What the intelligent community fears, here you have 4.3 years of income, the United States before the recession of 2008. This is how much money it takes to buy a house in the United States. 18 years of income in China today to buy a house. This is not sustainable. Japan and its decades of recession. Japan in the early 1990s fell into a recession depression that it has not come out of. Very few years did they have any type of economic growth. The Bank of Japan, in order to stimulate growth, has established many plans by giving away printed money in order to encourage people to buy stock in order to float the stock market of Japan. This is a vicious cycle that creates negative interest rates. Therefore, the Japanese yen is floated and therefore drowning because there's nothing of substance. Japan has over a quadrillion amount of debt. The Asian financial crisis, the Asian financial, financial crisis. What caused the Asian financial crisis? Effect of the crisis on war, US and world economy. This financial crisis was of interest to the U.S. because 1. The stock markets 
are interlinked. Two, attempts to resolve the problems are led by the IMF, World Bank, and ADB, and pledges of standby credit from the Exchange Stabilization Fund of the United States of America. Two, Americans are major investors in the region, both in the form of subsidiaries of companies and investments in financial instru in instruments. And the currency turmoil affected the United States import and export, as well as the capital flow and value of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. deficit and trade was rising as the country's import, excuse me, import loss and export more. Cause of the financial crisis, fundamentalist. Roots cause of the crisis lay in the misguided economic policies and late liberalization of their financial system was not enough. Panic-stricken, fundamentalists of East Asia economies were sound and hasty liberation of their financial system, followed by assets bubble was root cause. What this means was, in their haste to liberalize, they established the wrong economic policies. Russia's economy in free fall. Russia's economy is in free fall because of the plumbing oil prices caused by manipulation and there's a glut in oil. The ruble is falling. It only has a fraction of the value compared to the dollar. This is hurting the purchasing power of Russian civilian and increasing Russian poverty. Russians every day are seeing the value of their ruble fall and fall without any sight and end. The decline of the Russian economy began in 2014 and it's been, been in free fall ever since. This has caused capital flight in Russia. Inflation in Russia is around 10% and there's over $150 billion in, in United States um, money that is flowing out of Russia economy not to be invested in their own economy. The Eurozone is collapsing. The Eurozone is collapsing. What does it all mean? The Eurozone collapsed. Well, it all started with Greece. Greece cannot pay back all the investment that has been funneled to them by the Eurozone. Increasing in the problem of the Eurozone collapse is the BRICS exit when Great Britain exited the Union, the European Union. They do not want to be part of that system because they know it's going to drag them down. We're now looking at Spain. Spain has a lot of unemployment. Most of their youth, 26%, are unemployed and unable to find any gainful employment of any kind for the future. Spain's 2008 to 2013 financial crisis began as part of the European sovereign debt crisis. Spain went into, into recession in 2008 and remained there until 2010 with modest recovery issue that came unstuck in the second half of 2011. Again, it continued to rise in 2012. In June 2012, Spain became a matter of concern when rising interest rate began to affect its ability to access capital markets, leading to a bailout of its bank and other measures. The crisis has major impact on EU politics, leading to power shifts in several European countries, most noticeably Greece, Ireland, Italy, and the Mediterranean area. The Italian banks are suffering because they're unable to support their debt crisis. Italy's economy is collapsing. As I stated, Greece collapsed, bank runs, bank holidays, stock markets closed. You are only limited to $100 a week in order to extract anything for your, your standard of living. You're looking at people in Europe complaining about their, their impoverishment and their inability to find jobs. In Germany, their biggest bank, Deutsche Bank, has collapsed due to their inability to find any more investment. And also the fact that many people are not able, like Greece and other countries, to repay back not even the interest for the money that they lend out. For the globalists, it's business as usual. the global action from the globalists. What are their tools that they can use? Well, they can do bailouts, nationalization of industry and businesses, deposit guarantee, extra government funding, interest rates cuts. When you keep on cutting the interest rates and it goes into the negative, 
it means the money has no value. Savings have no value. Why put in money when it's negative interest? What are the solutions? Solutions number one. Progressive and conservatives offer contradictory solution. Raise taxes versus tax cut. Increase federal spending versus reduce federal spending. Restore the gold standard versus money fiat currency. More bank regulation. Less bank regulation. Free trade versus protectionism. There is no real confidence or consensus that any of this will work. More financial solutions. As long as banks are able to create money out of thin air, the financial crisis will continue. Every now and then, there will be recessions and depression. The best way to do this is to make it illegal and impossible for banks to create money out of thin air, fiat money. Put it under government control and under the supervision of interlocking directories and answerable to the people's will as democracy should have oversight and the people's money guarantee. This is the best way to start resolving this economic crisis. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Global economic collapse. The global economic collapse is only a matter of time. The governments are now desperately using all the old methods to maintain a sinking ship afloat, but it's not going to last for long. The panic is beginning. The panic is begin beginning. Economic collapse is erupting all over the planet as global leaders begin to panic. There are no long-term solutions. That is why these short-term panics are occurring. People are extracting their money while countries are creating bail-ins. Bail the entire world is connected and will feel the pain. One domino falls, all the dominoes fall. Currently in Canada, the Canadian government passed a bail-in stating that the banks can seize your deposits. This is occurring in many other countries too. What will you do? What will you do? Most people in times of economic panic will panic. Instead of being level-headed and preparing and storing food and helping their neighbors and alerting their family to take some money out and to begin to pay off your debt so that when the new currency is introduced, you do not have to pay it off at the terms of the new currency. The globalists are preparing for the new world order. The new world order will come. They will initiate the collapse of all their current economy and they will find an escape goal and people will believe the falseness that is told to them by the media that this is a fault of the capitalism structure which they are the ones who created robber baron capitalism. These globalists will stop at nothing to increase their political and economic power at everybody's expense. China is rising and might lead the new world order. It is the interest of China to make the Wang the world new currency, reserve currency. If China converts converted only a relative modest part of the $4 trillion foreign exchange reserve into gold, the country's currency would could trade on an unexpected strength in today's international financial system. We are only two months into 2015 when this uh, statement was made and it has already proven to be the most volatile year for the economic uh, environment all over the world. Prepare for the firestorm. Prepare for the firestorm. You're looking at the beginning of the end of the current economic system. All of your accounts in the banks will have no value. You will not be able to extract them. This is something that has already been experienced in Greece. I did a video on Greece that went into great detail. I did another video on Venezuela. I encourage you to watch it. Thank you for supporting my channel. Subscribe to Tricky Makey. Thank you. In order for me to continue to be bringing you all of these videos which I thoroughly enjoy bringing you and discussing all of these relevant talk topics and encouraging you to find and make up your own mind based upon all the facts 
evidence, details, and proof that I give you. I want you to think for yourself and prepare for tomorrow. All of these things that I bring you as topic matters are going to happen. Do not depend on the media, the regular media on the, of the television to give you information. You're not going to find it. Thank you for listening and watching Tricky Mickey. Please support this channel by subscribing, share, and like. Leave a commentary at the bottom. Tricky, this is Tricky Mickey. Until next time, thank you and bye. No way, because they're the ones who are preparing for it, because they're causing it. Economic depression is good for them because it gives them the opportunity to buy cheaply all the companies that collapse. The world in debt. The world in debt. What the intelligent community fears, $710 trillion in global derivative markets, $72.6 trillion global GDP. This imbalance, the depression will go global once the derivative market collapses. This is what has happened. Many bubbles are coming due and there's no way to play off the pyramid game. Sell, sell, sell. Panic on stock markets of the world sell 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 all the markets of the world are going to go into a panic mode once people begin to sell in order to understand that we're in this together and the economic collapse is coming for the entire world the global economy explain the global economy economic globalization global economy Evident after collapse of communism, expanding trade, foreign investment, privatization of industry, free trade, free of state imposed restriction, general agreement on tariffs and tariff, GATT, formed in 1947 as vehicle to promote free trade. In 1994, 123 GATT members created the World Trade Organization, WTO, dramatic growth in world trade from 1966 to 1990. This is what the global economy is. Global corporations, symbols of the new economy. Multinational businesses operate apart from laws and restriction of any one nation. Seek cheaper labor and resources, prefer lax environment. The world is falling apart. Welcome to Tricky Mickey. Please support this channel by subscribing. Spread the word Tricky Mickey is here. Share and like. At the end of the video, please leave a comment at the bottom. Thank you. In this episode of Tricky Mickey, we're going to explore the world is falling apart. Economic collapse is coming. What can you do to help yourself and your family to prepare for the coming economic collapse that's going to affect the entire world? Global economics collapse is coming. Global economic collapse is coming. The economic collapse is global because the entire world's economy is interrelated due to many international treaties and the fact that many companies are multinationals their subsidiary subsidiary companies are in other countries so therefore we need to under protect what little investment they have left pensions are going to go by the wayside governments will not be able to borrow from banks nor will the central banks be able to print money out of fiat, out of nothing, in order to support the economy like the way they've been doing for ages. Panic on Main Street. Panic on Main Street. Panic in the streets. In every economic downturn, Main Street, where most people, working class and middle class people live, this affects them more because they have the, le the least amount of economics savings and diversification of economics so naturally the working class and the middle class are going to be broken because the rich and powerful do not want a middle class layoff and companies close down begins in every economic depression that you can to laws pay less in taxes and de develop world than formerly what is an economic crisis? Economic crisis, a situation in which the economy of a country or the world experiences a sudden downturn brought on by a financial crisis. An 
economy falling an economic crisis will most likely experience a falling GDP, a drying up of liquidity, rising falling prices due to inflation, deflation, unemployment. This is what an economic crisis is. Recession into depression. A time bomb is ticking. A time bomb is ticking. The upcoming global economic collapse is going to affect, to affect this world. It's going to make 2008 look like a walk in the park. This is going to hurt everybody, except of course the very rich. They 